Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of SAN and in this uh, module we have three main, main important topics which we are going to discuss and these are the three important topics, let's have a look at the first one ISCSI okay so before starting make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started the first one is ISCSI so uh, in this whole module what we will be basically discussing is the networking okay what are the different protocols used in transferring information from one part to another part so iscsi is a ip based protocol that establishes and manages connection between host and the storage host is where your computer is where you are performing some operation and then you know, that uh, data is to be transferred into some storage okay permanent storage that networking is happening by the use of this protocol okay iscsi it encapsulates the commands and data. What are the commands you perform? What is the data that will be encapsulated in one place? And the operation is as follows. Okay, ISCSI server, and here we'll be having FC port and ISCSI port. I also will be having the gateway. So this is the structure in which the data will be stored in some storage arrays. Okay. So what are the components of uh, ISCSI? So there are totally three components, initiator from which the data is coming from and the storage where the data is getting stored and an IP based network are the key components. Okay, three things are there. What is IC host connectivity? Uh, the connectivity uh, includes three options, which is standard NIC with the software. So you can purchase this one standard NIC with the software initiator. It is the simplest and the least expensive connectivity option. To connect, you need some protocol. Okay, that uh, thing like the connectivity option is given here. TCP offload engine is second one in this the management functions are from the host and leaves only the iscsa functionality to the host processor so this is the second one which is uh, offloads okay and the third one is the iscsi hba okay it is capable of providing performance benefits okay just one one word you have to remember nothing much and moving on we have the icsi topology there are two native and the bridged what is the difference this is the native one okay directly you will be having a connection okay what is bridge bridge means you'll be having a gateway in between okay that's all and this is the both uh, the combining FC and native SCSI uh, connectivity. These are the two diagrams which are important uh, for you to pay attention to. Moving on, we have the uh, protocol stack for SCSI. So if they ask about the ICSI, they may ask like the protocol or the connectivity or the components like that, they'll ask specifically, okay? So this is the OSI model, application session transport network and the data link layer and the uh, corresponding ICSI initiator and the target bot will be having the same thing, SCSI, ICSI, TCP, IP and Ethernet. And in between, we have the commands, data, login and discovery. Here we have windows and segments, packets and frames. So this is the hierarchy in which frames will become the packet, packet will be uh, becoming windows. The login discovery will happen, the session initiation will happen, and the data will be transferred. Okay, so this is the interconnection between these two Ethernet inside that IP is there, inside that TCP is there, inside the ICSI, inside that SCSI, inside that data is there. Okay, so this is the protocol stack. You just have to write one one line regarding what all these um, layers uh, does. Okay, and this is the protocol data unit. This is how the information unit in the SCSI environment is. IP header, TCP header, basic header segments, additional header segments, header digest, data and the header di data, uh, data digest. Okay. No need to uh, get more information about what is this. Just this is the uh, thing you have to keep in mind. There is a header, IP header and the TCP header. Then we have the header segments and then we have the data here. Then ICSI discovery, we have two uh, ways in which the discovery can happen. Send targets discovery, if the target is sent in that way, the discovery will happen. Internet storage name service by finding the name. Suppose you want to search someone's ID, you will be going to the Instagram and searching their ID, right? That is what is the storage name service. There will be the named, uh, uh, the IPs will be there. In that name, you will be searching and finding out, okay? So uh, for the ICSI uh, names, we'll be having two kinds of names, qualified name and a unique identifier name. Okay. So unique identifier name is uh, based on IEEE, whereas the qualified name has its own registered uh, domain name uh, rules and the qualified name. Okay. What is a session? Session means if some data has to be transferred, there'll be a session from A to B that is called as a session. So it is established between the initiator and the target. Okay. So it has some IDs and all those things like whatever happens, the connection, the connectivity happens and the IDs will be there and the data will be sent and the feedback will be sent. All the same things you can write here as well and some uh, protocol like that TCP or IP will be used. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the diagram which you can make here. This is the initiator, this is the target and here we have the connections. I see uh, TCP or IP connections here. Here we have the sessions. Okay. Next you have the command sequencing. A command sequencing means which command has to be gone first that uh, uh, order has not to be shuffled so it has to maintain a particular sequence so that is what is written here command sequence number will be used for maintaining that okay 
So let's uh, cut the first one, which is the ICSI. Next, we have the FCIP. What is FCIP? FCIP means Fiber Channel Over IP. Okay, it is an IP based protocol. Again, this is a protocol. What it basically does is connect the distributed FCSAN islands. Here is one island, here is another island, here is third island. Now comes a protocol which is connecting all of these. That protocol is called as Fiber Channel Over IP. Uh, IP. Okay, so all of this information, uh, the detailed information can go through it. I'll be just going through the uh, overall stack. What is uh, what is there? It is like the previous only application, SCSA commands, FCP, FCIP, and TCP IP physical media. Okay, like what all these uh, layers does in uh, general computer network, all the same things are uh, valid here as well. Okay. Next, we have the topology. This is the diagram FC sign, FC sign gateways are there, which is connected through IP. Here are the servers present. This is the two islands, and it is connected by FCIP gateway. Next, we have uh, this is the last topic, which is uh, NAS, which is the uh, network. Um, network attached storage okay see you have a storage okay and all the storages if they are connected with each other, each other via network that is called as network attached storage okay here we have the file sharing environment and means all the file can be shared within the users if they are connected obviously and here examples are the file transfer protocol distributed file system network uh, file system common internet file system peer to peer these are the different types of file sharing methods the main point here you need to keep in mind is there are storages which are connected it is called as network attached storage okay so what is NAS? It is an IP-based dedicated high-performance file sharing and storage device. It is called as file sharing and storage device. Okay, that is only NAS. Okay. Next, we have the general purpose uh, servers versus NAS devices. General purpose means it will store all the kinds of data. NAS devices are only those data which are connected, interconnected into the network. Okay. And these are the benefits of NAS. Go through it. Network file sharing. So this will be using some defined protocols and the standards like FTP, secured uh, shell. Okay and DFS. So all these things can be used to uh, do the network file sharing. Okay. What are the components of NAS? There are two key components, NAS head and storage. Okay. Head means it is the main uh, key component like the title will be there and uh, all the uh, necessary information of one lines, all those things will be there. Storage is the actual data which is to be transferred and it includes the head includes the CPU and the memory and network interface cards. Optimized operating system for NAS functionality and nfs and cfs can be used for the file sharing industry star and storage protocols can be, and ports can be used to connect the managed physical devices okay. and these are components of nas here all the components which i mentioned here are present here can go through a network interface nfs cfs and nas nas device os and storage interface so this is the storage array and this is the nas and this whole yellow thing is called as nas device okay and IO operations in the IO operations input output, uh, what happens is the um, following like the client will request something to be done and the server will receive the response. There will be a connection in between them. And when the server uh, receives the response and tells the client to do the, uh, do the thing, it will do the thing and the uh, server will receive the answer and it will send the request that the thing is done. Like those things only, whatever is happening in between that, uh, NAS things will be attached. Okay, that is only called uh, what is called as NAS IO operations. Implementation of NAS, you can use the unified platform or the gateway or the scale out three things can be used for the implementation unified or the gateway or the scale out in um, so what is what happens in unified is um it provides a unified management uh, in unified will be having just one link okay. in gateway implementation it uses external storage in scale out it will be using multiple nodes together okay three words you have to remember that's all so unified nas connectivity more information is given here go through it like there will be a direct link between all of these things okay in gateway will be having external uh, protocols here which are attached in between as you can see in scale out connectivity there will be multiple clusters and the nodes will be, which will be connected okay an example is given here this see this there are multiple nodes connected with the interconnections in between them lastly we have the nas uh, file sharing protocols in this we have two cifs which is common internet file system and the last one which is nfs which is network file system it enables user, users to share the different uh, files see if you want to share something with your friend like a document you will be following some protocol because uh, all the uh, different kinds of files has to be transmitted right so there will be on the protocol which will be seeing which kind of files will, of which kind of files will be transmitted so you'll be following that protocol and sending that file to your friend you are a storage your friend is a storage like that only you'll be having different kinds of protocols which are file sharing protocols in NAS, which will be supporting different kinds of documents. Okay, that is what is called NAS file sharing protocols. And we have the file system in which the, the client server protocol is there. Another one is the, which is CIFS. Just the basic differences are there. It is used on Unix systems and it is used on the server message uh, block protocol. It uses those things and the uh, use cases differ. If you want to transfer some useless data, you can use UDP, which is user data protocol. And here it will be using TCP IP, which is a um, Delayed process, but it will be more secure. Okay, 
and these are the different uh, factors affecting NAS performance. Here from here we'll be starting number of hops are there and the data is transmitted here, read distribution and uh, the devices and the clients are there, okay? So that's all, make sure the like button, subscribe to the channel for more dislikes and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.